Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to the channel that is Deb Chanel's 48th World. And we're going to be talking about a YouTuber that I watch. Her name is Tisa Tales or Tessa Tales. I think it's Tisa. Tisa Tales, just like Lisa, just put the T on it. Tales, T-E-L-L-S. I like looking at her videos sometimes and she drops some tea, guys. She got some tea. She is saying out there, and I don't know if it's allegedly, but she's saying that Bravo is trying to get Angela Simmons to come over to the Real Housewives of Atlanta as a friend because uh, they want to have seven housewives from what she's predicting. Uh, for this season of season 14 and she is going to be Possibly the friend of the new girl that's coming in Sanya uh, Ross Richards or something like that, you know the Olympian um, Gold medalist that they're bringing on as a full-time housewife And I'm like we don't even know if she gonna make it because if she don't bring it she'll be out just like who um, Kim Fields um, who are some other people we had? The Latoya Forever, you know, the YouTuber sensation. But yeah, if anybody don't know her, I'm sure you should know her from Ron's house. Um, you know, Reverend Ron had his own little show. I don't know if it's still going on. It was okay, it wasn't all of that. But I think she's the oldest daughter. And um, yeah, that's Angela. And uh, by a while, they were dating at one time, and uh, Masterpiece's son, Romeo Miller, he dated her as well. I mean, she's a gorgeous girl, um, lady, young lady, young adult, but it's none of this, it's none of my business, but I don't want to see her. And I'm pretty sure a lot of other people don't want to see her on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. <sighs> she is used to growing up hip-hop. And fussing with teeny boppers on her age group, which is I think around the middle thirties or early thirties. Yeah, they want to bring um, Ron's daughter on him, Angela Simmons. I'm like, is she married? I mean, is she still dating that boxer? I think his name is Daniel Jacobs or something. Or maybe they not dating no more. I don't know. But I'm like, damn! I thought we were trying to get people that had husbands, okay, or partnership thing going on you know she ain't got no husband so why i'm like whitney look like why why is she here why i'll ask the same thing cat why are they even barking up that tree to bring her on when they had so many other people that they could have been knocking at their doorsteps to see what they want to take a chance even if it was just one season strong you know paying them real lucrative but Barbara just getting cheap I'm like damn just go pull somebody off the street that look like they got it going on and bring them on in now, I like the Justine she was cool she adopted a young girl too when I was watching this show but that's been a long long time and all the time I look at him, I'm like, ho, 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 run DMC, yep, doom, 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 and the Beastie Boys, never back in the day, but anyway, he, his claim to fame now is he's a, a minister, he ministers to people, but yet he still be on Ratchet TV shows, I don't know how it comes together, but I guess, uh, we all are sinners at one point, and we turn saints later on down the line in our livelihood or our life structure. But yeah, these are the two guys I could connect her to, and you can see. I don't know if Romeo was so bad. I think he tried to get his life together after he got off of being on sitcoms and stuff of that nature. But I know he was doing that connect something. He had made a little promo for some school. I forgot what A C D what was it what was called Johnson? Little Romeo had made him a little song. A little jingle. I don't know. I think it's connect one, two, three. So I it, it just my mind's not there with it. Cause see that's again you try to make real housewives in Atlanta to a teeny bopper show. I mean the girl is too young to be on here and I don't think her claim to fame is Ron House and growing up hip hop. 
And I'm like, she's still in her contract. I'm like, uh, this is not a grown folk show anymore. It's more of a come as you are and we can get you as long as young as we can get you. We can probably keep the show rolling. But if you bring Angela Simmons on or even light skinned Keisha, oh, you might just put the show to hell. Okay, it's, it's hell in the handbasket. It ain't gonna revive. Now if you were to get somebody who's been around who knows about what you call it uh sensationalism type uh ratchetness you can look up tamar tamar should be easy to afford to bring her on the show because lord knows she have men that's questionable all the time you don't know if they crazy or she done did something to make them cry i don't know but tamar you know vince he was sitting up there doing some things. Then she called herself again with this David out of Fesso. Gonna marry him. That's a hot mess. But I'm saying Tamar would be worth the money. She would be entertaining fully. And she can get and read well. She can get Kenya on the, on the wraps as well. But she might be friends with Kenya. And, and they'll try to be getting Marlo or somebody like that. But then you got Faith Evans. You ain't look, you know, you ain't look her up. I think they still come to Atlanta because it don't seem like you have to live in Atlanta anymore. Because Latoya Forever Show sure wasn't living in Atlanta. She left L.A. to come here. And um, I don't hell, I don't know what Drew Storm was. She wasn't in Atlanta either. So I'm like, why we can't get Tamar? Bravo, hint, hint. She here. She go between here and L.A. anyway. Or maybe her sister Tony Braxton. But I, I don't like Tony. Tony born in hell. She's born in hell. Okay, but... We can get Tamar for some action. Faye could give us a little song with that old crazy Stevie J. And then you got Justin Hernandez hooked up still with him. That would be tr truly entertaining. And then you got Keisha Cole. She live in Atlanta. Can we look her up? I mean, she's a part of the industry. She knows all about reality shows. Cause Lord knows she had her mama rest her soul when she was here. And she had her sisters. They know how to put on a show. They keep us fairly entertained. I mean, Keisha Cole, look her up, okay? Tell her bring us some Angela Simmons. Then you got Kay Michelle. Hell, she from Memphis by way of Atlanta. She got a business down here. Puff Petals, I think, a little lounge, a hookah lounge. and got Maybe you can get some food and stuff of that nature. Yeah, Petals and Puffs, I think it's called. But you can't look up K. Michelle. She ain't no stranger to reality TVs either. Okay? We can find out on what happened to that doctor she's supposed to be dating and getting married to. Because she's sure was clowning on her Instagram account. Man, she's saying some weird stuff. So, and then we have Kelly Rowland. I don't think she's doing too much around now. She could definitely come on down here. Because uh, I think her and Sierra are friends, I think. Don't quote me on it now, because it might just be her, Serena Williams, and what's her name? Oh, uh, Lala Anthony. Hell, I can't remember. But Kelly Rowland can be doing something. She ain't no stranger either. She's in the industry. And I just threw that one in there just for a bunch of laughs. <laughs> but I don't know. She might be hard up for a check. And we know she stay here. I don't know if she still live with her mama. I don't know if she still with, live with Kim over there or not. But she sure like going over there spending the night. Even though she got her own place. She still like going crashing at her mother's home. Oh, but that would be interesting. That would be interesting. And lastly, hey, why not Sierra? I think she live in L.A. But she does come down here to Atlanta. She can live by coastal. And Russell Williams. Ooh, child. He is something to look at. He kind of remind me of Apollo. Uh-huh. And and Phaedra. She could take that place. She could take that spot. Mm-hmm. Sierra would be a nice choice. A nice addition. I mean, I gave y'all several people. If anybody want to get my video to Bravo, these are nice people. Alternatives. Then what they trying to bring us if Tisa tells us on the money. Okay, go watch her videos. She's very comical. Very comical. Like her. And she definitely gives out a lot of information, whether it's true or not. Doesn't really matter. She's just very entertaining, okay? 
But yeah, she was bringing it out on her channel that though that was the prospect that Atlanta Housewives they saying Keisha, light skin Keisha is out. But they still uh, digging from the bottom of the barrels. They still pulling people from Love and Hip Hop. You know what I'm saying? That go on and get what's her name? Uh, Ray J, uh, wife. He been trying to divorce Princess. I think her name is. But you trying to bring Angela Simmons to the show? Uh-uh, that's as bad as about bringing Kim Fields to the show. Kim Fields to the show. And, um, what? Well, I wouldn't put that Kim out like that because she's very polished. She's a very good actress. And she's definitely been in some nice uh sitcoms and stuff. Especially when they sing I loved her as Regine. But, you know, she was tootie on the facts of life. I mean, she's a producer and everything. So, I like the Kim, but Kim didn't last long. And I think because she didn't, she was just tired of the foolishness, and you know, they tried to show her out or call her out about her husband's sexuality and shit. You know, that's one keeping to the real form of why she was there. She she had time on her hands. They gave her a check. She filmed the whole season. It was good. I, I you know, I, I wasn't mad at her. I wasn't mad at her. She probably should listen to her mama and not win, but she was just. You know, probably need some money at the time. You know, for another uh, adventure she was partaking of. Uh, so, and she needed to have it financed. So, okay, get you a little Bravo check for one season. That's cool. But, uh, I'm like, anybody. Y'all ain't got nobody else out in them Atlanta streets. Even you just go get a no-name person and bring them up. Okay? Because, hell, they were no-name. NeNe definitely would. Um... Sheree was just by carelessly living through her husband's uh, NFL career. She wasn't doing nothing out there. Um, let me see who else. Kim was dating somebody else's husband, rich husband. So she wasn't doing a thing out there either. So I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't know about this uh, Angela Simmons. It's not tickling my fans it's not making me jump up it's, it i mean damn you could have just brought uh what's her name back bell bill devoe wife what's her name devoe wife uh shamari she's about shamari back even though she's been clowning and they probably wouldn't want her back but that's a hot mess no i don't want to see angela simmons no she'll put me to sleep i wouldn't even watch the first 15 minutes with her being on the show she's just not no, Kenya would eat her alive if Kenya even wanted to think about attacking the poor baby. Um, who else would this? Marlo would probably run all over her too. Uh, probably ask for prayers from her dad for doing it. She had to repent. Uh, she's just not a good fit for the show. No, no. I'm not. Mm -mm, nope. I'm not to put a thumbs down for her. Yeah, that's not working for me. But that's all I have for this video, guys. It was short, sweet, wasn't too much to tell. Whether y'all uh, heard the news or not, if you know anything about any, you know, YouTube bloggers out there, that's the hot thing they're, they're talking about now. At least Tisa Tales is talking about it. And I'm sure she got her information from credible sources. Uh, but no, nah, uh -uh, we don't want her to tape. We don't want her to uh, be on the show even as a friend of a friend. No, and then she's supposed to be the friend of, allegedly, the new girl that's coming on. How you going to be friends with somebody new? We need you friends with somebody old on the show. So we can try to piece this storyline together as it goes along. But no, uh -uh, no, bring Nene back. If y'all going to do all that, bring Frazier back. Hell, bring Kim Zozag back. That's how bad I don't got it. And we know she don't want to be on there with them black women. We know she don't. But uh, I don't know. She might think about it because she ain't got no um no reality show going on. But she's supposed to be doing something with a uh, what you call it psych reading or something. Uh, she's playing with the spirits now. So yeah, we just need to leave her alone too. But yeah, that's this man. She's supposed to be dating. He's a, a boxer or ex boxer. Yep, she dated Bow Wow, and yes, she dated P. What's his name? Master P, the rapper back in the day. His son, Romeo Miller. Him. That guy right there. See, they too young for the show. They too young for the show. I ain't got time to be teeter bopper. You know, oh, I, I just can't. I can't. And I don't know if they should mix it so. I don't know. I'm not feeling it, as y'all can tell. I'm not feeling it. So. 
Hopefully y'all like this video. Y'all can appreciate it. But I did give you some alternatives for Bravo to look at. I mean, these people are living in Atlanta. At least four of them. And, you know, just offer them a little sizable more money than you probably would bring them on as. But since we know about them and they are in the industry and they have show improved their abilities to be on Ratchet TV shows. And they have storylines that can go for days. Okay, storylines that can go for days. All these people I done showed you. Keisha Coles, K. Michelle, C. Era, uh, Tamar Braxton. Uh, Kelly Rowland can probably tell us something about is that baby Jay Z's baby? No, she probably won't go that far, but we keep seeing her, we can figure it out. Oh, she might drop some tea. Got Faith Evans on crazy Stevie J with his baby mama, Jocelyn Hernandez. Now, now you know that would be a piece of resistance, right? There. That's right there, A1 class ratchetness that could definitely bring up the ratings. But, hey, he just is what it is. He just is what it is. But that's all I have, guys. If y'all like this video, thumbs it up and share with your friends. Other than that, I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.